Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arakara Dungeon Guide for Mythic Plus in Season 1 of The War Within. We'll be going through the main boss and trash mechanics that you're going to encounter in this dungeon. At the start, the important mobs are the Engorge Crawlers, which are going to do Venomous Spit at random person in your party, which is a poison dot, and it helps a lot if you have ways to dispel it. When they're about to die, they explode in big green circles, make sure to stay out as they do damage and knock you back. Interrupt with priority the resonant barrage from the three link attendants as it does airway damage, and throw any spare interrupts into their web boats. The first area has three mini bosses that you need to kill in order to summon the first boss and all of them have a frontal and a bunch of web bolts that you can keep interrupting. The first one, Ixin, has a special horrifying trio cast that you need to interrupt as this is an AoE fear. The second one, Nakt, has a short channel that does heavy AoE damage. It's called Call of the Brute and it's not interruptible so make sure to use defensives. And the last one, Attic, will leave poisonous clouds on the ground and cast poison bolts at people that you need to interrupt as they leave a poison dot on them as well. The first boss is called Avanox and he's going to cast Alerting Shrill, which does heavy AoE damage for 3 seconds to everybody in your party and it summons small adds that fixate on people. You want to keep these away from the boss because if they reach him he's gonna eat them and get a huge damage boost, so slow them down and AoE them from a distance. He's gonna follow up with Onslaught, which is another 5 seconds of AoE to your group, but this time there's also Swirlies on the ground that you need to dodge, leaving Puddles behind. Use your defensives here, as your healer is going to be on the move, having quite a hard time to keep everybody up. This also spawns a set of eggs, and on the next alerting trio, they're going to convert into adds and fixate on people, so you can pre-move the boss away from them. There's one more mechanic, Voracious Bite, which does a ton of damage to your tank, and these mechanics keep alternating until you manage to kill the boss. The following area includes some web mages, make sure to interrupt their revolting volley as it does airway damage and send some spare interrupts to their web bolts. The hulking bloodguards have an aura that reduces the damage taken by all the mobs around them so don't pull too many at the same time, be careful and don't get caught on their frontal, and they're also going to do a massive slam that does airway damage to everybody in your party. In this area there's also sentries that are going to channel Alarm Shrill. You need to make sure that you keep stunning them, seeing them and knocking them, as you don't want this to go off, it will summon one of the big hulking bloodguards. The second boss is going to put infestation dots on random players, you need to spot heal them as it does a lot of damage. He also has a huge frontal and every time you heal somebody from the infestation they summon a small tornado that is going to move around the battlefield. He's also going to do a burrow to a player's location, this is basically a frontal, make sure you're not in the way. And at a 100% energy, he's going to swarm the battlefield and leave only a small circle as the safe area where you can stand. This thing moves clockwise around the boss and you still have to dodge the tornadoes and the frontals while you're in sight. Having the tank standing on the right hand side and baiting the frontals there makes it a bit easier. The boss is also going to summon adds that are going to try and root people, make sure to interrupt their casts and cleave them down along with the boss. The last area has some blood overseers that are going to try to cast venom volley, make sure to interrupt that as it does AoE damage and avoid their enveloping web swirlies on the ground. The little drone adds in the area drop black blood, puddles on the ground that you need to avoid and there's also flying patrols that are going to dash to people and do random damage. Here you can go to the site and fight a whole bunch of overseers or go through the middle and fight a big hulking dude whose massive slam now also stuns everybody in your party, so choose your poison. And speaking of poison, the last boss Kikatao has plenty of that. First you have to constantly dodge swirlies on the ground and then when she casts cultivated poison everybody gets a dot, which is a poison and you can dispel it which shoots out poison waves to the side that everybody else needs to dodge. During the fight small adds keep coming and once you kill them they drop black puddles on the ground. You need to walk on top of them when the boss casts cosmic singularity. They root you at place and prevent you from getting sucked into your death. After the cast is over you need to CC your root, stun, knock, anything works, but you need to do it quickly because the swirlies are coming and they're gonna kill you if you're still inside. Keep in mind that only one person can walk on top of the black puddle, you consume it once you do that, so everybody needs to find their own. 
The whole fight is repetitive dealing with the poison debuff and not getting sucked in with the cosmic singularity. If you succeed to do that, you've beaten Arakara, the City of Echoes, and you're free to move to the next dungeon, the guide for which you can find on this YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you guys there, now get out of here.